Now, fortunately, we are in bad power trouble. Hold on. Everything offline for a minute. Except that, because we need the metal. It's almost daytime, though. It is daytime, so... We're going to start getting some charge back. I'll turn everything back on shortly. How much more metal is needed out here? Just one more, which is currently being made, it looks like. Okay. We'll have that second solar collector online after all pretty quick. Hopefully enough to get it in there in today's power situation crisis. I'm going to put everything back on, but I'm going to still leave the mine and that off for now. And that, and that. Alright, there we go. That's working pretty good. We are losing power, but we're going to have another solar panel up pretty quick. Come on. Come on, the metal's there. Get it out there. Get an engineer out there. Or a lightning strike would sure be kick-ass about now. Losing power fast. This is exactly what I described. That's why I was trying to get the power online first, but I felt like I was being delayed too much on the biodome. And I have to bring this back online. People need to sleep. Okay. Well, looks like this will get online just in time. It's going to get not much of the day, but it's going to help. Alright. See if we can afford to bring some things back online now. Uh, let me think about where I'm at here. Just oh, an engineer, that's right. Two, four, one, seven biologists at least by the time we get the no, six. I need one more. Two for each biodome is the ideal, but uh, I need to get an oxygen generator online now because I'm almost to level 20 people and I can't grow anymore after that. But again, power is a really bummer situation. Uh, I really need to get another turbine online because they at least also provide at night. I mean, we're getting back. We're slowly pulling back from that overnight power crisis, but not entirely. However... 35 minutes in and I've had no deaths and everything is going smoothly. It's just a little, well, I mean, I shouldn't say smoothly. It's a little bumpy, but everything is in hand. I need to increase my production of plastic. So I think as soon as one of these is done, I'll switch it over to a uh, wheat or potato. Now, before I can put the next oxygen generator in, I will still also need a water. I need really large turbine, a large water, and then the oxygen generator. And so I need much higher metal production, and I'm not sure exactly what the problem is. I have it prioritized, and I have plenty of workers. Prioritize all those structures to 
Well, all right, let's just uh, run time here and uh, keep an eye on things. We are losing power again now in the nighttime. Because again, the solar power isn't doing shit right now, obviously. Um, this is why we need a turbine. Man, we are not gonna make it through the night on these power levels, clearly. I need to keep the mining going. I guess I got to uh, disable this for the moment. We're getting close to 20 people anyway. I'll just take a little breather on colonists until we get everything kind of smoothed over here. All right, that slowed it down considerably. I don't want to turn these off if I can help it. I will turn off the med bay for now. Let's go ahead and uh, get this planned. And I was saying before, I'm pretty sure I can terraform away this mountain with uh, buildings. Let's see here. There we go. Bam, just flattening it out. Let's try a different structure. Uh, let's try a landing pad. Oh yeah, here we go. Starport. There we go. Look at that. Got rid of pretty much all of it. Just a little bit here, which I might be able to... Oh, beautiful. That pretty much got rid of everything. All right. So my next priority is another turbine, which I'm going to tuck in here as tight as I can. That's why I wanted to get rid of that mountain to make this uh, line up well. How much metal? I have one extra to spare now that's been made. Uh, we are really, really low on power. All right, hold on. The mine's got to go offline. we got to turn some stuff offline. Or we hit a complete crisis. And that's the name of the game on this planet. Now it's starting to rain. I'm gonna pray to the gods of this S cloud S cloud S class planet for a power strike. I've just had to go into complete shutdown. Come on, give me a lightning strike. Oh my god. I can't do shit until the sun comes up. At least it's almost dawn, then I'll get something out of my solar collectors. Just a little setback. Come on, give me a lightning strike. Oh, we're losing power again still. Come on, no! Oh, it's so close. It is so close. And we've almost got the metal. We just need a few more. We'll be in a lot better power position. So I guess for future reference, it probably would have been better to prioritize you know, upgrading the power early. But getting this biodome online was so critical, I think, for the food. I mean, it gave me a bunch of extra food, but now I gotta worry that I'm gonna be losing condition very soon on these plants if I don't get things back online. All right, here we go, sun's starting to come up. We're starting to get power. All right, kick it all back online for a minute and see how it looks. We're losing power, of course. Let's turn some of these back off. Whew, just in time before the complete blackout. All right, there we go. You know, of course, <laughs> it's, um, I got two solar panels, but of course it's a cloudy, rainy day. So I'm getting minimal, but at least it is enough still to uh, power everything and increase with this. Yeah, we just got to get this thing done. And uh, we just need two more metal for that, I think. Power is going up slowly. Come on, give me a lightning strike, damn it. 
I'm going to need another solar collector too now that I think about it because this one's only going to cover. Yeah, this building's not covered anymore. But oh boy, that just about perfectly covers everything else. That's a beautiful placement. Gaining power again. Come on, reduce the cloud cover a bit. There we go. If you're not going to give me the freaking lightning, at least lower the damn clouds. Yeah, some wind. Here we go. Alright, we're fighting back. We just need a couple more metal. I think I need to mine it. Yeah, unfortunately, so that was a bit of a bottleneck. But I really didn't have a choice. That became pretty quite a bad power situation. I'm re-enabling the landing pad as well, but I really don't want to go above 20 people yet. Until I have the oxygen generator. So actually, let's just offline that still for now because we are it's still a bit of a tight power situation. So we get the other stuff built. Uh, we need two more metal there. I have to mine it. I see one's already popped out. I was saying I was gonna switch one of these over to increase my plastics. We'll do this one over to wheat when it's ready. Nine, now we'll have a third starch producing food and uh, still have hopefully enough. We really do need to get another biodome going. I mean, it's, that's the, way, the way this game is, if you want to be streamlined, you've got to just got to be making things constantly and really on top of things. We need water, oxygen generator, and then a biodome. Then we'll need a lab and a factory as soon as possible for making spares and stuff. And we'll also want another power collector once these are producing power at such a rate that we're keeping it full all the time where we could charge another one. And another lightning rod back here somewhere. I guess many people, I'm going to go ahead and fill this thing out completely now. Yeah, I was able to squeeze that last bed in there so we can hold, what, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 people can sleep in there. We have 19, but they're not all going to be in bed at the same time. They work in shifts. Well, I'm going to ultimately need a second bioplastics processor. Now that I'm upping my starch production. Yeah, but yeah, it's starting to warn me about my food reserves. So actually, I think we're going to want to put trader ships back on for sure. However, can't really afford to put this online yet. need these last couple of metal out there stat okay wait no that that building can wait get that piece of metal outside we just need this one more and then we'll have uh, another wind turbine that should hopefully balance us out again for a little bit As you see they're pretty much always continuously spinning they aren't doing great but you know, the solar collector is only working the daytime alone, and then there's cloud cover like 75% of the time on this fucking planet anyway, so. Losing power fast, but this thing is just about ready to be built. Maybe I'll fucking get that lightning strike here sooner or later. Alright, here we go. Okay, now we're gaining again. So again, next priority, water extractor, so I can get an oxygen generator.
fact, I can probably queue both of these up. I just want to uh, do them in the right order and think about where I put the oxygen. Uh, could tuck it in the middle here and see if I had room to get another bio dome on the other side. I'd like to like to have a bio dome here. Here, let's uh, let's try some terraforming here. I know I'm gonna also try to fit a lab in here somehow later. Even if I can't connect here, if it'll connect here and here, then they can get the medical supplies from over here. And a factory. So, you know, it could go back here, the oxygen. Because I, I probably want to put a biodome here. Or it could go over here. Let's see if this will at least connect on those two fronts. Okay. If that works. See it back there. And then another biodome here. So that they're all close together in a straight shot towards the processing area and the food area. And then when I get the lab in, uh, this will be some medicinal plants in here which can be taken into the lab and then taken to the sick bay. And the factory here, as I was saying. Alright, get that built. Get this stuff built. Get it built. Oh, we're doing much better on the power situation now. Here it is in the good daytime. These are producing uh, over 50%. We're just kicking ass on power. But food's going to become a problem if I don't get another biodome built as soon as possible. Again, the choice, I could try to go for the medium biodome. However, by the time I save up the extra three metal and plastics required to make one, I could already have a small one online producing food. So let me run time a little quick here for a sec. Um, let's get this done. I'll need that also for the biodome. Kind of had to forcibly stop myself growing at 20 people because I hit a little bit of a hurdle there. However, at this point, I think now with the power situation being under control well and everything, I'm good to go back into full expansion mode. Because I'm going to be getting this very quickly. Uh, I do still want one more biologist. Uh, the rest is good enough. Workers and one more biologist would be key. Let's prioritize that. You can see now, like I said, uh, a second power collector would already be a good thing. It's already completely full, and uh, but we're going into night, so it's good. Uh, excuse me, I got to cough for a sec. Hit like a little dry spot in my throat. Mm. All right, I need one more metal to complete that. So, yeah, the bile dome will be the next thing. And again, I mean, this little one is two metal, two plastics, plus the connections. This one is five. Three more metal and three more plastic. You can see how slow I'm producing them. I can already have, I've tried this a number of times. Going for the, the mid-level bile dome too early is a crusher. And I can see this is not going to really line up the way I want, probably. Let's hope for the best here. No. I think I can make it work. Usually the closer, the better. 
Start picking up some more colonists. That one's not connecting still. What did we get? Nope, we got our... No, we didn't get them. Still need another biologist game. I'm glad I don't need this biodome just yet, because I would really like to try to figure out a finagle this to fit the way that I want. <laughs> just to connect on any there. It's got to be as close as you can get it, usually, is how it works. As close as you can get it where they're all lit up. That's about right there. Well, maybe I'll just uh, <clears throat> forego the one connection. Um, if I can still make this connection later, yeah. That reminds me, I my internal connections, it's going to get harder to connect them unless I do them soon. But I'm realizing now that if I make this connection, that probably screws up my lab placement after all. Maybe. No, it can still squeeze right in here. It can even connect all the way through the oxygen generator. That's beautiful. Okay. So yeah, let's get that connection. Getting the oxygen online right now. Perfect. One medic's still enough for now, two engineers. We just want to get one more biologist at least. So I have two for each biodome and workers. They're bringing the stuff over now. If I have excess metal, I would want to try to build another solar. I'm going to get that queued up. But the priority is the biodome. Um... So I'm covering an oxygen now to 40 people, but food, food, food. Like, this is not enough. Nowhere near enough. Still gaining power, no, losing power, but uh, the turbines are kicking in. Oh, that's right, I need to get another lightning collector. going on the south side of the base here. Looks like we have someone who's hurt. So why is he going to the... I guess it's not that bad of an injury and he's like, dude, fuck it, I'm starving. I'll go to the fucking emergency room in a minute. I need something to eat. I wonder if it'd be possible... Yeah, that breaks that connection. Oh, I already couldn't do this one anyway. We'll, we'll make a building here later that will connect them that way. Alright, getting some more colonists. Hopefully we get our six biologists and we can just go all out workers again for a bit. Oh, well, seven's not bad, having an extra one. That looks good. That looks good. We just need workers. We need to get this uh, biodome done. Are we to a point yet where we could use another mine? I'm certainly going to add another metal processor and see if that helps at all. No, that's right, I was going to be a plastics one. How are we doing on plastics? We're ahead on that, really. Hmm. Still, I'm going to go like that. Yeah, I, I can squeeze another mine up in here, probably, like, uh, by a couple places. I could put one here and still get the factory in. But I could also maybe, you know, get like a, another processing center and factory combo down here later. Onto a mountain over here. Alright, how are we doing on things here? Our power usage is fairly... It's just going down a little bit. Need to get this about them online. Oh, 
one's cover and everything except for these three buildings. I hope I'm leaving room though to uh I still want to be able to build over to here, so then I think about it, that's not a good idea because I'm going to need room. At the very least, I uh, probably have to go with like something small like a multi-dome if I have to, yeah. Maybe I should put that... Could I get it here anywhere along the shore? Oh, I wish I could. Oh yeah, right here. Where's the spot? There we go. So here, I'll still have room to build a building through this way. It's covering all the lower buildings here, and it will cover an area over here, which is where I'm going to be building into as well, so that'll be the spot for it, I believe. However, first build the, the new collector. Well, first build the biodome. Producing plastics a lot more quickly now. Seems like metal is going to be come to hold up. I really need that mine. Or maybe I should just shift over. Well, once I get a mine going, I'll probably switch it to three metal producers, one plastic producer, <clears throat> until we can uh, get another processing plant up. I'll probably build a processing plant over by these other biodomes. It'll, it'll later be essentially just for plastics only. Colony ship. No, it's just going to be workers. 24. Need two more workers. Alright, we're getting this new biodome online. Excellent. Gonna need it. I'm going all out red food in this one again because food. We got plenty of plastic. Food, food, food. Two onions, two radishes, same as over here. Again, those are the normal, like, uh, mid level production. Like, these require much more maintenance and they produce faster. But, unless you have a lot of biologists to spare, which I sort of don't really. These produce much more slowly and thus have less needs, but they produce less and slower. So these work the best. These produce uh, starches for plastics. These produce only food. Uh, again, we're going to run out of spares soon. I've got three spares and four med kits. So my next priority will actually be to get a uh, factory online to produce, and a lab, start producing those things. Excuse me a sec. Got a first uh, trader since I turned it back on. Don't really need any of this stuff yet. I don't really have anything good to trade either. So just be on your way, mofo. Now, where are you bringing that? To the connection as opposed to instead of this? No, you see, that's why. Alright, this can wait. Stop. You stop. They are not smart. Biodome is done. I should have prioritized this. Again, I'm starting to think maybe I should get another mine going. Because metal is bottlenecking. They aren't that expensive. 